Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I hope many of you were able to join our first ever NFU Live virtual conference. Uh, we had over 3,000 people on the call, which was just great to see, and, and over 600 questions, for which I can only apologise that I didn't get through more. It, it is a real challenge trying to pick the questions up off of the screen and sort of consolidate them and have, obviously having to paraphrase quite a bit as well. But I think the overriding uh, feel from the interaction with you and Secretary of State George Eustace was, where is the detail? I think many people are feeling that this has been a long, tough winter. They always are, but I think this one has been more pressing than many others. And the lack of detail on the future policy, I, I think, is really grinding many people down, along with uncertainty in other areas. And, of course, living with COVID and lockdown, many people having to deal with, with online learning, uh, which indeed I'm trying to constantly encourage my teenage children to stick at it. So it's it's been a tough year and I cannot urge the Secretary of State to get that detail out as, as soon as possible. Then of course we moved on uh, to Liz Truss who um, had technical issues in, in London and of course was late joining so that cut her time down a bit. And then into Sakia Starmer, first time, of course, that we've had a leader of the Labour opposition for a long time now, since 2008, I think was the last time. And I think actually that relationship is so important that we're working with leaders of all parties uh, and having that engagement. And one thing I would say about last year, it was a major reset point for engagement with you know, a Labour Party that, that really wanted um, to be actively working with us. So what Sakia outlined with Luke Pollard's work um, will really make sure that we can be involving as many of you right across the country with that work as it moves forward. And we launched our levelling up report, um, really wanting to make the case and give you the tools to be lobbying your MPs on the, on the major issues and the major opportunities, you know, with 70% of the country a farmed landscape and agriculture underpinning the whole of, of the rural economy. It's so important that we get these policies right and we develop rural and farming policy in rural areas. All too often this is done by think tanks uh, within the City of London and it, it just does not really translate uh, out to these living, breathing uh, supply chains out in the, in the countryside. So very much hoping that we can work collectively with backbench MPs, giving them the tools to engage with every department in government, as well, of course, for us with Treasury. Um, looking towards next week, obviously, it's, it's a big week. It's the budget, and it'll be very interesting to see what the Chancellor has to uh, outline with his thoughts. Major challenges, I know, going ahead uh, for the economy. Uh, many uh, members that I speak to, it's been absolutely savage on farm diversification. Um, hops, another example of a sector that has really, really seen savage impact on the back of COVID. And of course, not just here, but right across the world too. And, and that all ripples back. So there are many areas, both big and small, on the back of COVID that we are continuing to work with government on. But a whirlwind trip through. I'm always uh, relieved when conference is over. It, it's a big time for us. Um, I'm really hoping now that the commodity sessions can set up that engagement with you to outline what they are doing on your behalf. So it was a, a different conference, but I think we got a great political lineup and fantastic to have so many of you engaging with us. And I just look forward as April looks to an easement of the way of working and getting in front of people. I just look forward to 2021 more than anything about being able to get back in front of you, our members. But in the meantime, as always, please do take care, look after yourselves. And I so look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.